I'm Cole, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about my February TBR. The first books that I'm thinking of picking up are by the author Taylor Jenkins Reid? Taylor Jenkins Reid? I believe. <laughs> uh, so she is the author of Daisy Jones and the Six and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So Daisy Jones is something that I've seen everywhere. Well, both of these are really, um, but this one in particular, um, I think most people have said it's better in audio format. So I think I might want to pick the audio book of this up instead. Um, so Daisy Jones and the Six tells the story of a fictional band uh, that were really big, I believe. Um, kind of like I get the sense of a Beatlemania type thing where everybody goes mad about them. I've seen reviews that say that the story writing is so good that they believe this band was actually real and had to check that. <laughs> but yeah, I think it is definitely a fictional band. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure much more on that other than I believe it talks to all of the people in the band. Uh, I don't know if it's an interview style or whether I'm getting that confused with The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which is the story of kind of a famous Hollywood actress, I think, um, and she has decided to have an interview and talk about her life and I believe there's a lot of stuff that went on there. Um, both books I've seen have had rave reviews, um, so I'm interested to hopefully pick both of them up. Um, the reason that they've sort of come to be on my TBR now and I'm thinking about doing it is because I actually managed to pick up um, Evelyn Hugo for 99 pence on Amazon, um, Kindle, so I was like, that's a sign, I need to read it, let's just do it, have them both and see what they're like and see if they live up to the expectations that I've got of them, even though I don't really know that much about the stories, but yeah, so I wanted to check those two out. Next book that I'm looking at reading this month, I mean, February, I'm not sure when this is going up, <laughs> um, would be Red, White and Royal Blue. This I've heard so much hype about, and at first I thought it wouldn't really be something I'd be that um, bothered about. Uh, I believe it's an enemies to lovers story. The president's son, I believe, becomes a kind of young royal. Um, he has beef with the royal family, or maybe just the royal prince in the in England. I'm not sure how deep that goes. Um, but yeah, I think obviously they don't get along, and then I think there will be some kind of love story there. I'm not quite sure. Didn't want to read too much into it. Hadn't looked that much into it, to be honest, because I didn't think I was actually going to pick this up. But I'm hearing so much about it. Um, actually, from both sides now. So at first I was hearing that it was rave reviews and everyone was loving it. But I've actually seen some negative stuff now as well about it. So I just want to pick it up myself, read it, so I can stop thinking about it. <laughs> and when people mention it, I can think, oh yeah, I like that book, or no that was not for me um so yeah i'll be interested to see what this one's like hopefully i will be one of the people that likes it the next one i'm going to pick up is to all the boys i've loved before i'm hoping to do a reread of all three of these to be honest it's a series that i absolutely adore um both series by jay han um some item Somewhere, somewhere yes, yes, <laughs> sorry, um, I thought that was something different for a second there, um, yes, so both series are ones that I really enjoy, um, obviously the next movie is coming out on Netflix, um, so I was hoping to maybe pick these up again, I mean, they're not very long, they're light reads, um, buffy romance type things obviously um so i was hoping to be able to fly through those and be back in the world of our gene um if for some reason you don't know what these are about our gene sends letters to 
well, she writes letters to anyone that she's had a crush on and romantic feelings for. Um, she doesn't intend to send these, but ultimately they get sent out. Um, so all the boys start receiving these letters. She goes through the first um, book with one of those boys, pretending to be a fake relationship that turns into a real relationship. And the second book in the series, the second movie that's coming out soon, will be following another one of those boys. Um, I've mentioned this previously, so I'm not going too deep into that. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favourites, so hopefully I'll be able to get through all of those again. Final book that I'm going to put on my TBR today, at least. Hopefully I will get through more books than this this month, but I'm not quite sure what I want to put on there. I am more of a mood reader, to be honest, so we'll see. Um, hopefully I can get through more than this anyway. But yes, so the final book is Hidden Bodies, which, as you can see, a lovely Joe Gold book, um, is the second book in the You series, I guess. I mean, the first one's called You. I'm not quite sure if this has a series name, but yeah. So I've already watched both seasons on Netflix, but I wasn't aware that the second series, there was a book for that, basically. Um, so I've read You, um only recently um a couple of years ago now i think um so yeah so i when i saw this i thought oh i'll pick that up have read this see how similar it is to the series because i've not really heard many things about it missing a lot of stuff um obviously because i've read the first book and seen the first series i know what the differences were but yeah i really really enjoyed the first book um it's really gripping Joe is somebody that I root for, even though I know I shouldn't. I just can't help it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess he's just one of them characters that's just written so well. Um, but yeah, he just gets you on side. I guess it's kind of like a... I always think when I'm like watching the show and stuff, it always reminds me of like Dexter. Because he's another character that I just root for, even though he's a murderer. Yeah, I don't know crazy but yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing what this one's like as well that's all the books that i'm adding to my tbr for now i will obviously keep you updated on any others that i read um hopefully there'll be more than this in my february wrap up fingers crossed if i can manage my time better this month but we'll see so yeah let me know what's on your tbr this month and i will see you in my next video bye